So just to go through the solution to the first example that I, that, that, that I solved, you can see we factorise the denominator into distinct linear factors. All right, then I broke it up into th these, uh, th this combination for big A and big B, certain constants that we want to calculate, right? If we can calculate those constants, then then yeah, I can do the integrals, right? I can do the integrals. So that, that, that's the whole point. OK, so the heavy side method involves looking at the integrand, covering up one of these, and making a suitable substitution. So if we look over here, to find a, a lies above x plus 3. So let's go to our integrand, cover up the bracket containing x plus 3, and substitute in x equals minus 3 to give me a. All right? So essentially, that's what I did in the, in the next line. I covered up that, substitute in x equals minus 3, and then that gives me my, my constant a. So to calculate b, I see b lies above x plus 2. Go back here, cover up x, the bracket containing x plus 2, and substitute in x equals minus 2. That'll give you b equals minus 5. So, if I realise then that I've got my two constants, I can write my integral in this fashion and then integrate to obtain logarithms. Now, you can simplify this if you want to. I'm just going to leave it as is. But that was the basic method that we learnt yesterday. Okay, it's a powerful method. It requires hardly any algebra.